engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to simulate a microgrid in MATLAB Simulink software. If you are not yet part of our family, please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel. Join our membership team in order to have a special access to the, our models and attention guidance in your project. You can as well donate to our channel in order to have access to the model where you are donating and for us as well to keep on improving and making videos like this. Then don't forget please like this video and as well comment or suggest any video. Our microgrid is made by battery energy storage system, PV array, diesel generator, we have our power grid or our utility grid, those are our inverters, by that, uh, we have our inverters, we have our power grid, and we have our load. We have our charging, DC, AC to DC and AC, AC to DC inverters. And I'll be introducing each component in more details and, the, and how it is operating. The idea to develop this microgrid is to reduce dependence on the grid, reduce the electricity bill, be able to supply when the grid is off or during the load shedding. The basic operation of our microgrid is we have power grid as the main as the main source. PV solar system supplies during the day with a grid compensating the PV solar system. Generate and BFE supplies during the the on peak the on peak hours. The grid does not supply during the on peak hour during the high peak demand. The system parameters. We have our utility grid. We have our load demand 2.47 megawatt. We have our PV solar system. 2.5 megawatt peak and we have our battery energy storage system of 6 megawatt hours and we have our diesel generator of 3.2 megawatt. The operation hours of our system here this showing the operation hours of our system we have our grid grid energy sources grid and PV plant are supplying to the load demand when it's green and grid supplies from from 12 to to 10 o'clock during the day and then from 10 to 17 the solar will supply and grid will only supply around five plus plus or minus five percent to compensate the grid and when it comes to pv solar systems there is not supply from zero to ten and from 10 to 7 to 5, PV solar system is supplying. Red means it's not supplying. And the generator on, is only is a, is the last backup source only supplies when only supplies when, when it's necessary. And we have the the need like is energy storage are either not supplying or being charged at this time. And in, in the in the yellow energy storage system be charged from the PV solar system. And 
As we can see, at the blue, a new storage system is supplying plus or minus 5% of the load demand. At blue, the PV is supplying, the, the energy storage system is supplying. Now let's simulate in our MATLAB simulating software. This is our model in MATLAB simulating software. If you want this model, you can donate in order to have the model. I'll introduce each component. Here we have our battery energy storage system, utility grid, You can check our previous videos to have more details on the component in, inside of each component. This is our PV array, our PV, our sub arrays. There we have our inverter and the controller. Here we have our 3.2 megawatt diesel generator. This is the breaker. And we have our measurement. This is our battery energy storage system. I just know my battery and then I end up adding it to, to meet the 6 megawatt. Where is the voltage? is 200,000 ampere hour. Here we have our DC to AC, DC to AC inverter, and here we have our AC to DC inverter. Here we have our load demand, 2.7, and the voltage. There's are our measurements. We can check our previous videos on the uh, way it is, is done by part and you can have more idea. Let me cop the operation hours. This is our operation hour. 6 to 9 was changed to 2 to 3. 10 to, to 4 was changed from 4 to 5. And 18 to 20 was changed from 6 to 7. Because of the... Then we are going to change the simulation time to 8. It's just to reduce the simulation time. Which means that the battery is no longer supplied from 18, from 6 in the morning to 9. Now it's supplying from 2 to 3. And as well, it's no longer supplying from 18 to 20. Now it's supplying from 6 to 7. Let me just change. Apply OK. Now the PV is no longer supplying from 10 to 16. Now it's supplying from 4 to 5, which represents like a time. And the generator will supply, will in, will supply from 2 to 3 the same time with uh, our battery and from 6 to 7 then you see it then normal open that means when you get that time it will close grid grid also we are changing will be from from 2 to 3 and from 6 to 7, it will close. Those are the time that will close. Where it goes, it's, normal, it's normal close. That's the time that will open. It's no longer supplying. It will, sub, will not supply that time. I think everything is okay. Now, now let's run our model in order to see the behavior of our system. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video.
let's check our results as you can see here you have our pv battery grid and our diesel generator check our result please don't forget to subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video here we have our grid power we have our pv we have our generator and we have our diesel as you see that from the times that the pv is supplying there that time the pv is charging the battery and here we have our pv solar is supplying from this time and we have and during the peak demand the generator as you see when the pv when the pv is supplying the grid supplies less and um, as you can see the pv the diesel generator supplies the same time with the battery energy storage system during the load peak during the peak demand Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video.